Hello everybody, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Something's been going on recently in the Torah community that the devil is having a field day with. The devil is enjoying this, guys. I gotta, I gotta talk about this. I can't not talk about this anymore. I've gotta bring this up. I've got the word of God with me, but I gotta bring something up. I've seen over the last three or four years this overwhelming movement within Torah culture to I'm right. I'm the authority. Come subscribe to my channel. Come do this. Come buy my merchandise. Come buy my teachings. I am the authority. <sighs> I get it, guys. I get it. You want to make a name for yourselves. I get it, guys. You want to grow your channel. I get it, guys. You want to market yourself. You want to be known as number one. You want to be known as the teacher. I get it. I'm a non-denominational ordained minister. I understand the drive to want to stand in the front of the room. That's not, that's not helping the kingdom of God. Division never helps the kingdom of God. Yeshua, Jesus said, whatever kingdom or whatever house stands divided against itself, it will not stand. And the kingdom of God is becoming, the kingdom of God is, is, is becoming all about which minister, which pastor, which preacher, which teacher, which leader, which channel can be the authority. I don't want to step on your toes, guys. I don't want to step on your toes, but how am I the guy to call this out in Torah culture? So this morning... I logged in and I saw two channels that I like. I think I've subscribed to both of them at one point or another. I don't watch them religiously, pun intended, but I do every once in a while check on their content. And they have good stuff, but they also have error, just like me, just like you, just like every human being on this planet except for Messiah Yeshua, Christ Jesus. He's the only person to walk this planet perfectly. And I tuned in and I saw, the title of this, this thing was, Debate, the Trinitarian Debate with this teacher over here and this teacher over there. I say teacher because that's a label that we give ourselves or others give us. I don't, uh, I don't claim my REV to the front of my name. I don't claim to be your authority. I'm not your authority. I'm just a guy who preaches God's word or, or discusses God's word. I'm just a guy who, who gives commentary like everybody else. Every rabbi, every pastor, every preacher, every teacher, every leader is just giving commentary. This is the only authority, guys. The Holy Bible, not necessarily the NLT. I use the NLT to, to preach with because it's in common English. It's in common everyday spoken terms and... I like the ESV better. But the Holy Bible is our authority, guys. And I saw these two guys going head to head. And there's a score sheet down at the bottom. Word of God, traditions of men. And points were going up from one side, down on the other, and I was looking at it. I was like, this is not, this is not, not equal scales. The scales are not equal here. This man who's hosting this debate is the one doing the scoring. That's biased. That means if he doesn't like what the other guy says and the other guy strikes a point against him, he's not going to give that guy that point. You might be saying to yourself, well, you know, he's, he's a Christian or he's messianic. Of course he would. No, he wouldn't. Because if you're debating, you're bringing contention. And then I looked at his comments. This, this man who hosted this debate and did all the ranking and whatever, he had all these comments of... He had, he had all these comments of people picking his side or the other guy's side. They're arguing about the Trinity. God the Father, Son, 
and Holy Spirit. They were debating on whether God was two individuals separate or one. When John 1 says in the beginning, the Word was with God. And in the beginning, the Word was God. Why are we debating over whether we think it's two separate people or one person? Who cares? Who cares? Why do we care so much about finding a birthday to give to Jesus when he didn't even mark it as esteemable? Satan loves what's going on in Torah culture right now. Satan loves when two people come together not to discuss, not to further learn, but their sole purpose is scoring points on the very Word of God. This is why I don't debate. This is why I discuss. And if the person's not willing to discuss and they want a debate, they want an argument, I walk away. It's not fruitful. It is not fruitful to make the body pick between two people claiming to be Torah teachers. We have Paul saying, who is Paul? Who is Apollos? We're just workers. Shame on us. Shame on us for wanting to have our egos stroked and our backs padded by other men. Shame on us for wanting to stand in the front of the room and say, nobody else speak before me, for I am the greatest. We're supposed to go preach the word of God to the corners of the earth, not make People come to us to hear what we have to say, to offer our commentary, and take that in as gospel. I'm upset. I'm upset at all of us teachers. I hate to say us in there because I don't, I'm not an authority. I don't look at myself as an authority. I don't esteem myself as your authority or a authority. Yeshua Jesus is the authority. That's it according to the Word of God. I get it. You guys want to grow your YouTube channels. You guys want to grow your ministries. You guys want to grow your merchandise line so you can feed your family and not have to actually do an actual other job where you want to just stand at the front of the room. I get it. I hear you. But we got to make sure that our teaching never gives Satan a stronghold that we're going to have to tear down later never causes a brother to pick a side and argue instead of reading the Word of God. These two people claiming to be Torah teachers have now YouTube comments picking between the two of them and butting heads over the Trinity. Something that is so simple to understand. Recently I learned this. Recently, I tried to give answers to something I didn't need to. I tried to give answers to a question that somebody asked me, and I didn't need to. I didn't need to find an answer. I missed the point, and the point was the question never needed to be asked in the first place. I'm not going to tell you what it was because that would take this into another direction. I do not wish to go. We as pastors, teachers, leaders, whatever, don't have to get so nitpicky that we wonder what Jesus' favorite color was. Or would he ride a Harley Davidson? Right? We can agree. But we don't need to get into, maybe he was born on this day or that day. We don't need to get into, was, was Jesus, God the Father, separate from the Son? And were the Father and Son separate from the Holy Spirit? If you're getting into that much argument, you have not Christ. How am I the only guy seeing this? You guys have PhDs, MOUSEs, XYZs at the end of your name. How am I the only guy seeing this? How am I the only guy seeing that we would rather fight and argue over whose denomination is better? 
whose Bible translation is better? If you can say Jesus or if it's got to be Yeshua is better. If you can say Yahweh or try to pronounce the tetragram or say Yehovah, Yeshua, like what are we doing, guys? If you call yourself a pastor, teacher, and leader, your job is to lead. Not show everybody else that you're the same as them. Your job isn't to be called the greatest in the kingdom of God and get your ego stroked and get patted on your head. That's not your job as a leader. Your job is to do one thing, and that is to teach the word of God. Teach Torah. Show them how to do it because Jesus showed you how to do it. I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the noise today. I'm sorry. I'm bringing the noise. I am, I am worked up about this because all I see now are people claiming to be of God that want to debate and want to score points using the word of God to one-up the man sitting beside them when they should be preaching the good news, not separating people from it. All right. I want to share with you some scripture today. <laughs> this is a Mark chapter 9. Yeah, this is a Mark chapter 9. Yeshua, Jesus, is walking, his earth, walking the earth, doing his earthly ministry with his disciples, his Talmudim, that's what disciples mean. And they do the same thing as our teachers do today. Oh, look at me on Instagram. My Instagram is blowing up. Look at me on social media. Look at my YouTube likes. I'm a teacher. Pat me. You're a Pharisee doing that. I don't tell anybody to like and subscribe to my channel. I don't tell anybody to to give me money to click and vote for me i'm nothing according to who christ is according to who yahweh is i'm nothing i'm just temporary god is the one we should be glorifying and jesus notices this is, this is mark 9 verse 33 plus after they arrived at capernaum and they settled in the house jesus asked his disciples what were you discussing about on the road? Huh? What were you guys talking about? Right? Yeah, well, what's really going on here? Whoops, I dri my page drifted. But because they didn't answer. Because they had been arguing about which of them was the greatest. Torah teachers, pastors, preachers, leaders arguing debating gotta prove your intellectual prowess over the other guy what are you doing same thing the disciples are doing apparently you didn't learn from them it's in the word of god you know he sat down and called the 12 disciples over to him and he said whoever wants to be first must take the last place you must be second to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. You must be second to the Word of God. You must be second to the Torah, the, the 613, or the Ten Commandments, or the Two Commandments. You must be second. You can't be first. You can't get glorified. You're supposed to glorify Him. He glorifies His Father. Whoever wants to be first place must take last and be a servant of everybody else. You think you're serving when you're picking another pastor, preacher, teacher, leader to fight with on, on open format. <coughs> you think you think you're serving those people? Look at your walls. Look at your comment section. I closed my comments off. Not because I didn't want to hear arguments. I closed my comments off because I don't want people debating about me because I am nobody. You should be ashamed of yourselves, debaters. You should be sitting down at the table with someone who's against you and reasoning through the scripture like Paul and the other disciples did. Like, like... The other rabbis did to Rabbi Yeshua, Christ Jesus. They came to him and they said, Whoa, we disagree with this. Let's sit down against him. He didn't use what he thought. He didn't guess at it. Neither did his disciples. They used the word of God not to beat someone down with whack, but to discuss and reason. This debating thing has got to stop. That's enough of that going on in politics, trying to preach the president all the time. Instead of submitting to the authority, they want the authority to bash the authority. Oy. Anyways. Anyways. 
That's Jesus. Whoever wants to be first must be last. So you want to be number one on YouTube? You're not serving Christ. You're not serving the kingdom. You want to get upvoted? You're not serving Christ. You're not serving the kingdom. You want to beat the man or, or a person sitting next to you? I say man because I'm a guy. You want to beat the man sitting next to you using the word of God to prove your intellectual prowess? You have forgotten Christ. You have forgotten Christ. And Jesus condemns the religious leaders in Matthew. The law, let's see, uh, 23 verse 2. Jesus is speaking to the crowd. That would have been verse 1. So 23 verse 2. The teachers of religious law are the interpreters officially of the law of Moses. Torah. So practice whatever they tell you, but don't follow their example, for they don't practice what they teach. Instead, they crush people under unbearable religious demands and never lift a finger to ease their burden. Everything they do is for show. Oh, look at me. I just got 9,000 likes on my YouTube. Oh, subscribe right now. Oh, subscribe right now. Give me a pat on the back so I can feel like a good pastor. Oh, subscribe to my channel. Give me some likes so I can feel like a good teacher. This is the same of the Pharisees then as it is of the religious leaders today. And it is the same of the brethren who have departed from teaching the word of God and have instead taught tradition and also taught maybe Torah to pat themselves on the back with it. Everything they do is for show. On their arms, they wear extra, pri extra wide prayer boxes with scripture verses inside. They wear their robes with extra long tassels. And they love to sit at the heads of tables and get the seat of honor in synagogues. They love to receive respectful greetings everywhere they go. Hi, Rabbi. This is Yeshua coming down on the religious leaders like he's coming down on us here today. I don't ever want to be quote-unquote followed or people saying, oh, you're so holy I want to be like you because I'm not. It's one reason why I don't call myself pastor, preacher, teacher, leader, and I say that I am not the authority that Christ is. i got to glorify him, not me. I, I'm walking the same way that John did. John says, I must decrease so he must increase. Amen. Good for him. But we say, I've got to get a thousand likes today. Come over to my channel. Click on my like and status. I mean, I don't mind that people give me likes and give me these status or whatever, but I don't solicit it. The world doesn't revolve around me. It revolves around Christ. Look at my extra wide prayer boxes. Look at me. I'm a Pharisee. Shame on you, teachers. Verse 8, 23, verse 8 of Matthew. Don't let anyone call you rabbi, for you only have one teacher, and all of you are equal as brothers and sisters. Shame on you, channel holders. Shame on you, content makers that are debating and arguing amongst each other, bashing and, and, and picking fights and comments. Shame on you guys. Shame on you guys. We are all equal as brothers and sisters. I'm going to put this down for a moment. Here's the deal, guys. The Word of God says who we're supposed to be. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Is it loving your neighbor to sit next to them oppositionally at a table because you're a priest and he's a pastor because you've got a YouTube channel called Torah this or a, uh, a uh, Messiah that's uh, on, your, on your Instagram? Is it okay for you to sit there and say, well, brother, you're wrong. You don't know the word of God. No, sir, you do not understand what you're talking about. You got to have it my way. Is it worth doing that? If you're buying people into division on this on this Torah on this Torah page, where people are saying, "Oh, look, I'm a Torah person. Come to me for some learning," they're arguing with their brother, causing division. 
pick a side. You're either on my side or you're on their side. I'm going to score the debate on my, I'm going to score the debate my way because that person's wrong anyway. You know, there were people, there were people in this, on this tourist site calling one or the other guy heretic. Is that godly behavior that's being inspired here? The answer to that is no. The answer to that is no. I don't want people debating in my comments. I don't want people esteeming me. I don't want to ever, ever have someone say, well, who is this Michael guy? Who is this Messianic Michael? Or who is this Michael Mannings? Or who is this guy that I'm watching on here? Or who is biblically grafted in? I, I don't ever want to see someone look to me. Or who is Reverend Michael? I, I don't ever want to see someone look to me and go, who is that guy? I'm nothing. I, I don't... I couldn't, I couldn't say, let there be light. And light comes. I, I couldn't on my own authority, heal anybody. I couldn't create that water that you hear in the background. I couldn't create the birds that you heard a second ago. I don't have the power to just will something into existence like God does. I'm nothing, guys. I'm nothing without Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and without Adonai, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, I'm nothing without, without God. They are all Yichad. They're all one. It doesn't matter to me if Jesus is separate from God. It doesn't matter for me if the Holy Spirit is separate from them and he is here while they're there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It matters to me that God is holy and righteous and I am... Let me put this in perspective. Let me... This is... I never do things scripted usually. See, you see this mud right here? I was formed of dust of the earth, just like you. I don't even know if you can see that on camera. You and I were formed of dust of the earth, and then the fesh, the, the breath that God put in us. We're not God. If your whole purpose is to, for two hours or one hour or 30 minutes, debate a brother or sister who's in Torah or in Christ or is a Christian or is a messianic <coughs> or is this or is that. If, if your whole purpose is to debate them, you've already walked into that discussion with the mindset of, I want to pat myself on the back because I am the greatest in the kingdom of God. And let me just tell you something. You and me are going to be judged by the one that is the greatest and that is Jesus Christ, Messiah, that is that is, that, is, that is the very Son of God, we're going to be judged by Him. We're not going to judge Him. We're going to be judged by Him. And He's going to come and say, well, did you keep my commandments? Yes or no? Yes or no? Did you, did you teach the brothers and sisters my word? Did you try to disciple people? Yes or no? Okay. Did you go and argue with your brother or sister over if they should sacred name? If they should KGV, KJV only, if they if they should do this or say that, or or if they should have a light on for the the Shabbat or the Sabbath, or sit in the dark in their house, or if they should eat cold food or warm food, or go to go out to eat after service, or or none of that stuff is going to matter. What's going to matter is that you submitted yourself fully to Christ. What's going to matter is that you didn't cause division among the brethren. What's going to matter is you didn't cause dissension in God's people. What's going to matter is you didn't work for Satan. You guys should not be so into yourselves that you're willing to uh, sell yourself out to the devil just to get a click, a like, a vote. The Word of God says that we are not the greatest and that we are all equal. But yet, we go onto stages and podiums and churches and platforms and we, we speak as though we're the king. How dare us? How dare us leaders 
teachers, pastors, preachers, ministers. How dare us do this? How dare us think that because we get votes, clicks, likes, statuses, subscriptions, and shares, how dare we feel and think that we're the authority? The Word of God very clearly says you have one teacher, only one teacher, and that is the Christ. I pray for those that think they're the authority today. And I would just ask that you guys humbly submit yourselves to the Word of God and stop division and debating and causing people to pick between people to give yourself a famous status pat on the back kind of thing. That may not be what your attention is doing, guys. You might not be intending that. You might be intending just to go there and win a point for God. I gotta get gotta get God some points. I gotta I gotta I gotta demonstrate my holiness is what you're doing though. Humble yourselves. Bow. Put your face in the mud. Put your face in the mud. I haven't been posting a lot of videos because I haven't been posting a lot of videos because uh, I know by what Torah says who I am. I know by what Paul said of himself I can say of myself, no good lives in me. I'm not good, I'm not holy, I'm not righteous, I'm nobody to be revered. Who is Paul? Who is Apollos? Who is Michael? Michael is nobody. You need to follow Jesus, not men. You, the teachers, you need to follow Jesus, not men. Even if that man is yourself. Shalom. God bless. Good day.